So I'm in Simcoe County, and you got Lake Simcoe, and uh, this long weekend is Simcoe Day. So who the heck was this Simcoe, and why does he have lakes and counties and even a day named after him? Penetanguishene Bay is just behind me. That was a strategic port that the English would have recognized the importance of back in the late 1800s. Um, and I'm standing in front of the statue of John Grave Simcoe. John Grave Simcoe was the first Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada, what was later to become Ontario. Uh, he was born in 1752 in Britain. Uh, he served as a Member of Parliament and Her Majesty's Government, and um, also fought uh, for the British during the, um, uh, the Revolutionary War in the United States. As a Lieutenant Governor of Upper Canada, he had uh, many successes. He introduced uh, court systems and uh, trial by jury. Um, freehold land tenure, which was which was important for Canada's development, but probably the most important thing that John Gray Simcoe did um, was that he started the road to the abolition of slavery. So the act against uh, slavery that he managed to pass, initially he tried to be able to get um, slavery in Canada abolished. However, he met quite a bit of resistance to that. Um, so what he ended up passing was a compromise. While he wasn't able to set any of the slaves that existed in Canada free, and there were slaves in Canada, records showed that uh, in all of Canada's existence there was probably about 3,600 slaves. Um, while he wasn't able to set any of them free, um, he created a situation where those born to the slaves were uh, themselves free. Um, you couldn't buy any more slaves. Um, they stopped Canadians profiting off of the slave trade by not letting them sell people to the United States. Most importantly, it opened up what was to become the, uh, the Underground Railroad. He provided a safe haven for escaped slaves to go to and, and, and live a free life in Canada uh, when they were escaping out of the United States. Now, it was only 40 years after Simcoe passed his act that uh, slavery was actually abolished in the British Empire. Um, but he certainly got the ball rolling, and um, we have uh, Lord John Grave Simcoe to thank for that. So while you're celebrating Simcoe Day, perhaps it's important to note that one of the things that we're celebrating is the end of slavery in uh, this part of the world. Have a happy Simcoe Day, everyone.